In this episode of the Dr. Clay Show, I'm going to tell you about a surprising connection that researchers have found between the brain and the belly. Now, this research was done here right in my neck of the woods in Northern California by researchers at Kaiser Permanente. Now, what they found is that, oh, and they looked at thousands of people over the course of 36 years, so it seems to be a very well done study, but they found that people with bigger bellies have a dramatically increased risk of dementia. And that's something you definitely want to avoid at all costs. Now specifically, they first of all, they measured the belly size, so to speak, or as they called it, you know, doctors have to nerdify things and call it something fancy, SAD or sagittal abdominal diameter, which is the distance between the front of your spine and the back of your belly, so to speak, from the inside, the distance between the back and the front, between, specifically between the lower ribs and the top of the pelvis, the distance right there on the side. If that distance was 10 inches or greater in an individual, so that's indicating a big belly, when, that, when the subjects had a big belly and they were overweight, they had more than twice the risk of dementia as normal weight, normal belly sized individuals. In fact, 2.3 times the risk of dementia. That's significant. But check this out. Subjects who had the big belly and were obese had 3.6 times the risk of dementia. Almost four times the risk of dementia as compared to normal weight, normal belly size. Now, subjects who, on the other hand, were overweight or obese, but did not have a big belly, had 1.8 times the risk. Point being that, yes, being overweight and or obese is certainly a risk factor for dementia, it increases your chance of it, but having a large diameter abdomen or big belly contributes significantly as well, surprisingly so. Now, just to make sure that it didn't have to do with just simple weight gain, another way to rule it out, they measured uh, the thigh size and found that the size of individuals' thighs didn't matter. It did not affect the risk of dementia whatsoever. So it, we're really starting to see that abdominal obesity and fat is on the inside, typically we're talking about, intra-abdominal fat around your organs and so on, really is more detrimental than other types of fat and, and seems to really increase our risk of a number of diseases. And now we know dementia is one of those. So if you have a big belly or you're approaching that, you need to get on it, my friend, not just for cosmetic purposes, but for your health, the health of your body and of your mind. Now make sure you go to drclay.com and check out all the free articles, questions and answers and so on, on there. If you could use a little bit more help getting in shape, or even if you're already in good shape but want to be in great shape, do check out my new physique coaching program, which you can read about at drclay.com. It's going to walk you through and teach you everything that you need to know. Anyway, regardless of what you do to get in shape, my friend, do it. Take care of yourself because you only have one body, and we humans have a bad habit of taking more care of our cars than we do our bodies. That's it. I'm done for this time. I'm Dr. Clay.